Jesus. Choose your character. Player one. Uh, just past eight o'clock it is monday it is time for the total evercade podcast what episode are we on now it's been so long since i've been on this episode 30 is it 30 yep Jeez. my age so that's always good nice yes we <laughs> yeah. all turned 30 this year so fantastic um uh welcome everybody to episode 30 it's been uh, a hot minute since uh since i've been here so i've missed you all i've missed everything very much looking forward to getting stuck in again so let's get going we've got loads of people in the chat tonight the chat was kicking off before we'd even gone live which was wonderful to see so there's a whole bunch of people in the in the chat oh my god there's loads how are we gonna yeah, go, I'll go through, through it in a second. Let's see. uh so there's lots to talk about as the chat seems to uh, indicate as well there is a lot to be talking about and we will get to all of that good stuff uh so panel this evening who have we got we have got mr blunners hello everyone um just let you know i have gifted and it's gone to mr nick craddock so enjoy that lovely membership mr um, craddock yeah thank you i'm all good excellent and uh mr ryan how are we doing yeah yeah good thank you someone's just made a good point andrew joseph from blaze that the intro video says episode one so if Crazy Burger's watching this, I'm going to have to get them to update the <laughs> intro video with a new, with our new thumbnail, which oh, hi. Mark well, so we haven't seen for. Andrew in a while, have we? No, oh, so it's good, oh, it's it's good to have Andrew. Andrew here. Nice to see you. Excellent. Nice to see you, Andrew. I hope you're keeping well. Um, good grief, there's a lot of names in the right, chat. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's, go for him. Let's go for them. We'll go through really quickly. I can never pronounce this person's name. I'm so, so sorry, dude. But Kohide, nice to see you. Uh, Mr. Mega, great to see you, sir. Yes, we're going to get to that gigacart stuff. Toxo, wonderful to see you, dude. Oh, what else we got here? Sorry. That's all right, mate. Hastings Program History. Good evening. Wonderful to see you. That's a new name for me. Uh, J Mo Gee, how are you doing? Very good to see you. Vernon Couchman. What a cracking name. Dave Newland, mate. How are you doing? Very well. Florida was absolutely insane. Thank you so much. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, mate, I'm going to talk about it forever. Beep, 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 um, beep. Nick Craddock. Excellent. Wonderful to see you, sir. It's Mr. Skipkins. Excellent. Always good to see you as well. Mr. Taylor. Mr. The Taylor. Mr. Taylor. They're sent from the gods. I hope you're keeping really good, mate. So kind of, of Rob to send us that. It really is. Yeah, mate. thank you, Rob, mate. Uh, buy, sell, trade, repeat. How are we doing? Oh, Triangle face had an act, um, trouser <laughs> accident. That's why he's not here tonight. That's what I'm uh, it, it, am I right in thinking that this is what's been said about me for the last couple of weeks? <laughs> that I've just been having all these trouser accidents since um, <laughs> since January. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Mr. Harley, how are we doing? Um, yeah, I don't think we're other than Nick. I think we're up to date, aren't we? Excellent. Oh, well, sorry. Oh, and Jeannie Joke, Jeannie how Joke. are we? Well, it's wonderful to see you all here. You are all very, very welcome. Um, like I say, we've got loads and loads and loads of stuff to talk about. So let's kick it off with um, what normally uh, gets started, and that is what have you been playing and the latest news. So uh, let's go. Uh, Mr. Blunners, what have you been playing? So um, we're going to get into this a bit later, really, but I've updated me Evercade and I've played the new game of the month. I have literally, I've only literally been in this new house for about a month now, so I'm still trying to move everything around and trying to get um, up to scratch with everything. So, yeah, so I've only really played the game of the month, the Curse of, um, what was it, the Curse of Illamore Bay, is it? And um, mm -hmm. 
yeah, brilliant. I don't want to talk too much about it because I think we're going to talk about it next week, aren't we, Ryan? Or maybe um, we might move on to next week because of all the news that dropped this afternoon. It, it was going to be our, one of our topics this evening. But yeah. I, I think with these leaks that have happened earlier today, which I'm sure we'll get to, I, I think that we talk about that in a couple of weeks. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I've been care. So yeah, so um, I've been playing that. I'll keep. I'll, I'll speak about it later um, next week. But yeah, I've been playing the new game of the month, and I've updated my VS to see what this new catalog things about. But we'll talk about that later. Yep. Excellent. And uh, Mr. Ryan, how are you, good sir? And what have you been playing? Well, firstly, I did update my Evercade VS. I haven't done the last couple of updates, but I thought. We, we're going to get to it in a minute about one of the new features. I thought I will update it. And I did play the new game of the month, which, yeah, without going too much into it, it's pretty good. I actually quite enjoyed it, but I, I won't say too much today. I did play at the weekend. I thought I'd give the C64 collections a, another go. And I played some California games, which I used to have Nintendo NES, so it's slightly different to the Commodore 64 version. But it's, it was good to play surfing again. You know, you have to go off the screen at an angle and then come back at the sort of like a triangle almost. So if you go off at a 45 degrees angle up the way and come back, it's, it's a lot easier than the NES version. I'm not as good as I was on the NES version. Or it's that I am just no longer very good at games because I used to be able to smash skateboarding or half pipe on California games on the NES, but I'm just not very good at it anymore. So <laughs> I put quite a bit of time into it, and because I was doing one player, I was winning trophies and everything. So yeah, it was mm. quite, I was awarded the overall champion at the end. So that was good. I did have a go on pit stop two. But I, I just can't, I can't get into it. I, I struggled with it. I don't know if it's because it's the game's too old. It's before my time. I, I don't know. And yeah, I, I think that's that's been it really. So yeah, that is is me. Excellent. Uh, I've not had any time to really be picking up um, some new carts lately, so I have um, gone back over a couple of. A couple of oldies so i did take my evercade uh, to florida did i mention i've gone to florida or anything um but i uh so uh, in the in the build up to that i went uh, back over original indie heroes i've been playing um deadius i had a real itch to play deadius again um i really like that game like I, I really like it a lot i think it's really really cool would love to get the developers on here to talk about it sometime i think that would be a really interesting chat um, and I've actually been trying to give the uh, Irene collection um, a bit of love, the first one, because shooters are not my sort of go-to experience in terms of games, but I have really been enjoying R-Type, which I know a lot of people love R-Type. Um, and that has been um, a huge amount of fun. It's it's hard as balls, as all of these shooters are, um, but like, thankfully you don't need to put it in... Um, Tate mode to in order to play that because they're sort of side scrolling shooters as opposed to vertical shooters, which is which is nice. So I've been enjoying that quite a lot. Um I just saw Ginger at their post about Atari Lynx one. Oh, that's something else I've totally missed out on now is the two Atari cartridges. They've now like oh 30, 40 quid each, which is redonkulous. Absolutely redonkulous. Um but yeah, that's pretty much what I have been playing. So, uh, latest news. Does this cover the stuff that everyone in the chat wants us to talk about? Or is that going to be later? I personally think that the latest news is going to be covered in the topics that we're talking about this evening. Okay. So, I guess I guess one bit of news actually is we've had some more legacy cartridges announced so codemasters collection one and technos arcade one so codemasters collection one legacy effective immediately and technos oh, arcade no. collection one effective from june so if you've not got them yet do go and grab them I, when i looked last week funstock did have copies of 
they certainly had copies of Code Masters, so do go and grab one because that's a really good cartridge, sensible soccer. Yeah, so order. Yeah, so um, as soon as I saw it, I went onto Amazon, and I um, I've managed to try and order one, but where it isn't coming from Amazon Direct, I'm just fingers crossed that it turns up. So yeah, I'll let everyone know if it turns up. Like, so as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Shit, mm. I need to get on this now." So I quickly um, looked it up. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, so fingers crossed it. Turned. I'll let everyone know if it does or doesn't yet, because it's yeah. still yet to be sh- <clears throat> marked as shipped, which I don't like. Because everywhere else, I was a bit late to seeing it. And everywhere else has just already bumped the price up on it already. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's the same with all of these legacy cards. They seem to, as soon as they become legacy, that some of them are becoming really expensive. Um, and there's a couple that I've definitely, I think I've just missed the boat on now, unless I'm lucky enough to sort of catch them. Um, you know, like Ryan said, we were chatting about it at work today. Unless I catch one on marketplace or something, or someone's willing to sell a decent deal, then I think there's definitely a couple that um, that I've missed out on now. But say la vie, that's what happens, then it part of the collecting game um so the first topic we've got up is to do with the library feature um i think andrew just plonked in the chat a minute ago about that the uh library feature would be a good topic and uh, as if by magic it is one of the topics that we were going to be talking about um so I've been a little bit out of the loop with all uh, all things Evercade these last few months because there's been a lot going on. Um, so Ryan or Blunners, Ryan, Rod, we'll go with Ryan. Ryan, walk us through the library feature. What is the library feature? Well, the library feature has been added to the VS and EXP via an update. And it is a way that you can keep track of all the cartridges that you own. And you can also see all the cartridges that you don't own and the upcoming cartridges, where to buy them from. And it also gives you a rundown of what games are on those cartridges. So say if you don't own Codemasters, for example, and you go to the library mode. I'll put some screenshots up in a minute. Then you go to library oh, yeah. and you click on Codemasters. It will show you the games that, oh, here we go. Just by magic, Blunners is doing it for us. <laughs> so if you if you scroll down, Blunners, I think it's just within there. So you've got, so yeah, as you can see, you've got the cartridges that are announced that are coming out. And then you've got all the games that are on Evercade and you can mark the, initially you had to insert the cartridges and then that would tell you that you, that would add it to your collection. But then when you, now you don't need to do that. There's been another update, which I don't think was ever announced anywhere because someone posted it in the Evercade Hangout that there had been a further update, but I, I didn't see it on the Evercade Facebook group or anything. So mm-hmm. I don't know where they saw that was announced, but I did update today and you can manually say whether you've got the cartridge or not, which is a lot easier than inserting every single cartridge one after mm-hmm. another. Cause someone did say they got repetitive strain injury earlier on the Evercade <laughs> hangout from doing it. So, you know, do be careful if you are inserting all 55 cartridges, but so, I was a bit skeptical about this when it came out. And like I say, I've only updated it about an hour ago. And my initial thought of this is a brilliant, well, I say brilliant, a clever marketing tool by Blaze for, well, to create FOMO, basically, because you'll see the upcoming cartridges and you will always be reminded of what cartridge you don't own, which, you know, it's fine. It's what a company's going to do, isn't it? They're trying to make money at the end of the day. But I got my other half to come in. When I updated it, I said, what's your thoughts? I wanted, you know, like fresh eyes on it to see what her opinion of it was as someone who's mm-hmm. never really shown much interest in Evergate. And she said, oh, that's actually quite good. And then she started clicking on, oh, that shows you what games is for that collection. Oh, it's really handy, actually. So for someone who's not part of the Evergate community, she quite liked it. And she didn't see it as a marketing ploy mm-hmm. whereas me being mr skeptical as always i see it you know i i see it the other way but yeah it's 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 a nice feature 
whether I need it, I don't know, because I can just look at a shelf and see my collection. I don't need to see if if Blana scrolls down because you can actually get go to spine view as well. So if you go down, you know, you can virtually see your collection via spine and then you can order yeah. them in the order they came out or you can also order them in number order. But some of the cartridges show that they're now legacy as well. So if you're new to Blaze, it's going to be a real pain in the backside because you're never going to be able to collect them all because ones like Techno Arcade, well, you, you will be able to, but you're going to have to pay about £100 to get Techno's Collection 1, for example. So, yeah, it's got hmm. positives and negatives. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting idea. Um I'll, I'll give my my five pence on it in a second. Blunners, what's your what's your take? Yeah, so um, like I was saying, like Ryan said about, I think it it does look as I said, it does look really good. And um, but an option when you click on it says when it comes up saying where to buy. Um, it then just tells you what like what website to go to. So hopefully in future you click on that and it will take you straight to a store or, or is this something that could open up and you could just download stuff. Obviously, you won't be able to do that with your legacy cards, which is such a shame. But um, I think it's great. Also, I think what we haven't mentioned is here, themes. So it, I was, it says here, other updates. So alongside it, it's also they now have access to the same themes, include limited edition model specific ones. So, yeah, so you've also got themes. I think it's a great idea. I think it's great to you can see everything. You can see what games you can actually you can look through. I think it also has like genres as well, so it's all like put into like your your different genres to see where, and then you can see what them games look like, what carts they're on. So yeah, I think it's it's a it's a really good idea. It's um it's something I think which we've mentioned a couple of times before. It's something like it would be great to have like a somewhere where you can see all your carts, and and I think it's hopefully they can just go on further from this. But mm -hmm. yeah, um, I, with these, it's just a shame that with the ones that have gone legacy, that you won't. I, I haven't seen. I don't think there's an option to say click to where to go to on there. But someone can c correct me if if that is the case. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think it's it's a great idea. Mm. Yeah, I'm I'm certainly in the camp of I I quite like it. Um, just as a a nice little bit of bit of visual for you. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. If you don't, if you don't want to use it, don't use it. It's all good. It's just one of those extra features that's there. Um, it's cool that you can see what games are on the cart. Um, I like that a lot because there are certain instances where I um, I can't remember which games are on which carts, or I can't remember what the new games are on some of the carts coming out. Um, so this will hopefully be able to fill some of that in for me without me having to then google it or you know do something else or whatever but um yeah I, I it's just a cool feature isn't it it's um it's just one of those things that's that's there and you can use it if you want to um yeah i like that i totally read that comment wrong then that came up i read it something as only fans there was something someone was going to do something on only fans for a technos collection I totally <laughs> read that wrong um good do yeah, well, yeah, you might have to at some point. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a cool feature. I'm looking forward to updating my um, EXP later and the VS and sort of seeing what the uh, what the feature looks like and just having a little having a little play about with it and yeah, seeing what it's seeing what it's all about. Oh, we'll never say never about legacy cards. That, like. That's the classic Blaze line. Whenever someone yeah. says, "Oh, I really <laughs> fancy a Capcom cartridge," never say never. That's their stock answer. I've realised over the last four years, never say never. If 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 Evercade or Blaze were to release a James Bond film, it would be called Never Say Never. That's what it would be called. That'd Featuring be Andrew from Blaze, Never Say Never. Ah, uh, that could be cool. <laughs> that would be shaking, cool. not stirred. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd be into that. I'd be totally into that. Did you update your carts or on? No, I, I didn't update the carts. I just updated the vs and i hate when you update that vs because i always think that it's broken because the update the way it updates is, is just not very it's it, it's like 
DOS, isn't it? It's like a load of <laughs> script going across your screen. And I don't mm. like it. I'd like to have just a loading bar that you can you watch. Like, it, then, yeah. yeah, like a percentage, and it shows you where it is. And then I'm not saying that's going to make it fail safe, but at least you know where it's where it's at with the update. Whereas when you're seeing a load of script, like the Vlima Matrix going across your screen, you're like, what is going on with this? Nice. I think we've started something with this never say never now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start using it. Never, never say, say never, say never. Amazing. <laughs> uh, Okie dokie. So next topic. This one I think is going to be interesting because I think there's going to be some some good discussion around this. So please do, um, as you always do, have some good discussion in the chat. Keep it friendly. Um, opinions are very very welcome. Just don't. Uh, don't smack on somebody else because of their opinion. So, next topic. Oh, it's not clicked over. Come on. There we go. Gigacarts announced and a price rise. So, correct me if I'm wrong on any of this. Uh, the Gigacarts are going to be um, more storage space on a cartridge, which is going to potentially allow for bigger games uh the price rise that comes with that um alludes to the fact that there's going to be some possibly uh, some decent titles within this um it's something that we on total evercade podcast have said quite a number of times i think it's something that the evercade community has also said quite loudly and proudly and that is that people will pay for the good license. If um, if something comes up uh, in terms of like a really, really great car announcement um, and it needs to be a higher price because of the licensing, people will pay it. Um, so I don't see this as a, as a bad announcement. I, I personally see this as something really positive um, does it mean that all carts moving forward would be giga carts? I don't know. Or is this just going to be um, giga carts for, um, yeah, for, don't know what I'm trying to say here. Is it are all cartridges going to be giga carts moving forward or are there still going to be the standard carts and the giga carts? There we go. See, it all comes back to me eventually. Um, so, yeah, let's go with Blunners first this time. Blunners, what's your what's your take on this? Yeah, I think it's a great idea, like you're saying. Um, I think a certain a certain couple of games that are coming out <laughs> we'll talk about later definitely be on this gigacart range. This is exactly what we've said a couple of times before. I've definitely said it. I've said um, I'm more than happy to pay more. I know a lot of people complain saying they don't get enough games they used to anymore, but um, the fact is now they finally made a way to be able to get more storage on these carts. Um, it's got a nice little 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 logo. I don't know if everyone saw that. Mm -hmm. I have a little logo in the top right hand side that says Giga Cart on there. Um, it will go to twenty two pound forty nine, twenty four ninety nine dollars, and twenty four ninety nine euros, um, depending on where you are. So, it, like, as in everything, as in April, so everything's gone up anyway. But um, it'll be in, it'll be interesting to see what it can actually hold, like, what how many games what type of games and um, everything can they, these carts hold um it also it says it will work on all um exps and vs's as well so there we go not, yeah, all, not carts all carts are going to be, gonna be giga carts. Carts, but yeah that's cool but like hopefully this is nothing but this is great news because i was saying we can get these decent decent play like i've been doing stuff in the in the facebook group recently going through playstation titles and oh there's so many unbelievable games on that console play ps1 mm. evercade easily plays ps1 games so um i think it's just i think it's this it opens up doors to anything so, oh brilliant i just fingers crossed it gets us some great titles which we will talk about later mm-hmm mm-hmm Excellent, Ryan. What do you uh, what do you think? What's your what's your take on the Gigacart? Well, it's just going to answer Obsolete World's question because he's put in the chat how big are these Tomb Raider games, and I've just done a quick Google search, and they're between five hundred and six hundred megabytes. So the three combined, 
I, I don't know how megabytes and gigabytes work. Does that, what's that, 1,000, meg, yes, 1,500 thousand. megabytes? It's yeah. not a gigabyte, is it? It's nowhere near a gigabyte. Hmm. So, yeah, it, it can't mean, can't be the gigabyte. I think, personally, it's good that we're going to be getting better licenses that we get or bigger games that we're going to be talking about at the moment. I would like to think that we're not going to see Intellivision free as a giga cart and give it a <laughs> twenty two ninety nine price tag because <laughs> that would just be crazy if 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 something like that happened. <laughs> Again, it's is it a clever ploy to raise the price of cartridges without officially increase the price of cartridges? If you see what I mean, if you see mm-hmm. if if you. I know not all cartridges are going to be going up. And to be fair to Blaze, they've been $17.99 for a very, very long time now. And I was watching the... God, totally off on a tangent here, but I was watching The Apprentice last week. And Alan Sugar was amazed that a business had kept the same price of a product for like the last two or three years. And he was like, everything's mm-hmm. gone up. Why haven't you increased your prices? And I'm not saying Blaze should be increasing their prices. I'm, I'm defending them with what they've done they've managed to keep it at 17.99 for a very very long time mm-hmm. but these giga carts is it just a clever way of doing a cheeky five pound price rise and just sticking a little g on the cartridge case because duke nukem collections were both 17.99 and is duke nukem or is a game that we're going to talk about in a minute without any spoilers is that it is probably a bigger license than Duke Nukem, but is it that much bigger? Yeah. Yeah. I th- I think it is. You say Duke Nukem to people, and uh, I would say, unless you're a gamer, most people be like, what? When we talk about the next thing as a potential, you say that, and even my, you know, even my mum knows what the next game we'd like to talk about is you know it's a it's well, a yeah, huge it's certainly idea. Our, our dads know who the next, yeah. next oh, of course is. they do of course <laughs> they do they were always quite keen for us to be uh to be playing those uh those games but yeah i yeah i i think it's a really good idea if it's like we said before if it's if it's a way of getting us bigger ips um for systems like PS1, maybe even PS2, who knows? Then, you know, I'm in. You know, I'm I'm willing to pay uh, what a game is worth uh, to have it on the system that I want to have it on. So, you know, I'm I'm totally totally fine with um, with this happening. Specifically, when we get to the next topic, um, and we sort of speculate around what what this could even be certainly i think th- this could be one of those giga carts and i think it's um you know for that price as well for the for those games it's a, it's a, it's a steal really um yeah I'm, I'm not trying to be down on it i'm just trying to play devil's advocate just trying yeah to for sure give, give a different opinion on it because you know if we all sat here and said that yeah it's absolutely brilliant i'm just trying to give because I, I know what people have said in the evercade hangout and i'm just trying to give a reflection of, of what mm. people said in there regarding it mm-hmm. but if it's bigger memory then like andrew has said in the chat there of course it's going, going to be more expensive isn't it and yeah like you say i i assume licenses of this nature are going to be more more pricey mm-hmm. yeah it's yeah it's going to be interesting they did say and I, and this is a this is a real fair point to blaze they did say that over the next couple of years we'd see some big announcements we'd see some big titles that would be really like you know real f- you know real what's the word stank face pullers you know the real like mm. <laughs> and they yeah, uh, shit don't stink yeah Can... i was Sorry, just go on, gonna, i was just going to share this though because this is i'm just going to share this could it mean could giga cart mean this oh oh just going to drop the mic there that let us know in the chat what do you think I mean, come on! That oh, somebody else said Neo Geo in the chat earlier. 
that that would just be that would be pretty cool it really would that would be really really cool if we were able to start bringing some of that neo geo arcade goodness to uh oh, mr andrew joseph their strokes non-existent beard. i'm surprised he didn't say never say never to be honest <laughs> he's, he's up he's changed it he's changed it yeah. now Ah, uh, we need. We, this is where we need Derek to sort of raise an eyebrow, and then we can play the uh, "Tease Me, Derek" video. But um, yeah, that would be phenomenal. Because I mean, that again is a system. I'm I'm never going to be lucky enough to own a Neo Geo. Um, so to be able to have some sort of licensed Neo Geo game uh, would, would be phenomenal. I'd be totally up for that. So, yeah. Oh, yes, Metal Slug. There's so many cool games on Neo Geo. It really is. Yeah. Um, Oh, should we just uh, should we just get to the next topic because this is clearly something I really want to talk about. It's something you want to talk about. It's something everybody we all want to talk about it. Should we jump to it? Yeah, let's do it. Amazon, you son, sneaky sons of bitches! They dropped. Um, I mean, we we can say it's speculation. We can say it's speculation <laughs> until it's. Uh, <laughs> Is that speculation? Yeah, it's yeah. about as speculative as it gets until it's it is officially place. until it's officially announced. But uh, that looks pretty decent. Um, <laughs> I know Andrew like saying it. boo in the in the chat there. We're just like I said, speculation. This is um oh, I mean that's a great collection. That is if, if that is true and it and it comes to fruition and you get original Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2, and Tomb Raider 3 on whoops, wrong one. Um on one collection and that becomes your Giga Car, then sign me up because that's that's a big hitter. That is a big, big hitter. There is a lot of uh, people talking about Tomb Raider at the moment because they've just done the, you know, the the, the redo anniversary for the first Tomb Raider. Have they done it for all three, or is it just the first Tomb Raider on um, PlayStation and Xbox? No, it's all three. All three. But, yeah, I think it's a uh, collection's all been remastered. Uh, that one HD. That one. Whereas so this, a... this will be the normal ones to fit on this Giga Cut. Mm. So there's a lot of people talking about Tomb Raider at the moment, and you know, Tomb well, Raider. Megan Sorry, Robot's not happy. Oh, <laughs> you can. <laughs> he, he's I a great member happy, of man. the Evercade Hangout. I, I yeah. love his honesty and no nonsense responses. You can't, you, you know, you, you, I, I like the fact that people have different opinions. Yeah. And yeah. I, you know, I, I, I respectfully disagree. Um, you know, Tomb Raider is a, is a huge IP. Absolutely huge ip they're still making two raider games at the moment so you know if this turns out to be to be a, a you know a true thing then i think it's a it's a it's a big big hit it's a big home run um and it, it doesn't need to be the super mega remasters just being able to play the the original ps1 versions um that would be a treat all on its own um it's kind of, it's kind. I guess it is kind of annoying if Amazon have have sort of leaked it ahead of time. That would that would that would that would suck because you'd want to have your own, um, like Duke Nukem. You'd want to have that that big announcement yourself, wouldn't you? But it, we we need the, to see Simon Miller in the Lara Croft outfit with a wig on. <laughs> <laughs> and the That's what's going to be in the video. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. Dang, that would be. Um, I mean, that would be something. I'm not so sure it's something I never want say to never. see. Never. Never. <laughs> it's such a shame. Like, the thing is, it's a shame it's been leaked like this, and it like mm. it is. It is. Bless, like it'd be. Oh, it's because this. This is massive. Like this is a massive. Like three title. Like this was at one point. This was PlayStation's like go to. Her and Crash Bandicoot won it. And mm -hmm. like the fact that Blades have managed to get this on. The, Managed to get this on the Evercade is great news. Um, I just feel for them that did they sit on it too long? How has this been leaked? Do you know what I mean? Like this, ha this has happening quite a lot with them. So 
when you've mm-hmm. done the roadmap, why didn't you get it out then? Because guess what? You wouldn't have this problem now, would you? Of all your stuff, it's like so much stuff getting leaked. And it is in a way, it's ruining it, it's ruining it for them and their PR to get it out on time. Bless the dream. Yeah. True point there, though. Yeah, that is very true. Whether they have done it or yeah. not, I don't know. Um, but certainly in the film industry, they do that a lot. You know, they'll leak a couple of things just to sort of gauge where people feel about it, see what the reaction is, and they can sort of tailor it a bit more from there. Speaking of tailors, there he is. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, it gets us talking, doesn't it? It gets us talking about it now. Um, you know, we're all wanting to sort of share opinions on it and see what's see what's what. So they needed to yeah. get out there before tonight's total overk podcast they knew that this was the show that they <laughs> yeah. wanted they wanted people talking about it i did so wonder they... why derek's got had a trouser accident tonight yeah ah. Derek, derek's gone able so maybe he's yeah maybe it's he's under the thumb yeah maybe he's been silenced <laughs> i don't know yeah it's yeah, it's it's still going to be mega, I think, because if this is a if this is a thing, it's going to be giga. That's right. If it's uh, if it does turn out to be true, and they do their own announcement, their own release uh, video for it, people are just they're still going to be as excited. At the moment, it's just a, uh, I'd say, a very strong possibility. Um, it would just need to wait and see for that announcement from blaze themselves it, it's perfect timing because someone put in the chat and i remember it came up the other day and i was amazed that lara croft was voted by bafta as the most recognizable video game character of all time yeah mm. head of yeah. like mario and sonic amazed it must have just been like pervy 40 year olds who <laughs> you know loved tomb raider when they were teenagers doing the poll but i, I was absolutely amazed that Lara Croft came ahead of Mario. I mean, she is an icon, isn't she? I mean, yes, you could argue that is why she's an icon. Uh, but she is she is an icon. And, you know, she's Nathan Drake before Nathan Drake. Um, it's... Yeah, uh, much. yeah. I mean, this is... Uh, yeah, like I've said it so many times, and I could say it a thousand more times, this is a huge, huge deal if it turns out to be true. I think a lot of people will be very, very <laughs> pleased. <laughs> um, I don't think anyone would um, begrudge paying 22 quid for that collection. I think people would be more than happy to drop 22 quid on that. I know oh, I Meg- certainly would. Megan Eurobike, he won't be dropping on this. Uh, he won't, but this is worse value than both the Duke Nukem cards. <laughs> there was, there was a, 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 a I won't it. name him, but there was a guy in the FK hangout today, and I love people having differing views of games a hundred percent it I, I think it's brilliant because as everyone knows i'm not a big fan of the intellivision collections but he absolutely loves the intellivision collections and he said he wants something even more basic graphics wise than the intellivision collection so i almost told him that you know if you go to a stationery shop you could buy a calculator that's probably as basic as you can get but he he wants games even more basic than in television it's like wow wow just a dot on the screen moving around. Does he just want a Pong collection? I don't know, oh. but it's, it's great, isn't it? Because he, he's got no interest in this at all. He's like, I got, I got into Evercade for the really old games. I don't want any of this modern retro rubbish. I want the older, the better. Which... But it's, I guess it comes down to what is retro to, to you as a gamer. So to us, retro is you know, NES, Super Nintendo, um, and I guess a bit of PS1. Can we answer the real question? Will there be a special yeah. league? The future in the long way <sighs> Evercade, our underpants. I'm sure Ryan's after them. Mate, I would I would love some Evercade underpants. Let's yeah, get on there. Um, I'd be interested to know in the chat, just do um, like a thumbs up or a thumbs down for the tomb raider collection is this something that you will be picking up or is this something that you will be taking a pass on just stick a thumbs up or a thumbs down in what you've got no thumbs in the chat um (laughs) everyone's got a thumb haven't they virtually not everyone yeah most people have got a, a posable thumb so Let's see. Where's, where's all the... <laughs> the goose first? 
Who's Yay. first? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he is a great member of the Evercade Hangout, and I won't name him because I don't know if, if he if he wants his actual name revealed. But he, he is brilliant in the Evercade Hangout, so Mike's really nice. great to have him. Yeah, I mean, like you say, it's it's good to have people with different opinions on things. It's it gets a bit boring if it's just the same same things being said over and over again. So, but I guess what this kind of could lead to is, you know, if they get something as big as Tomb Raider, <laughs> anything's kind of up for grabs. You know, you know, Tomb. I mean, it's, you know, pardon my language, but it's fucking Tomb Raider. <laughs> You know, if you get that, <laughs> what's what's saying you don't? <laughs> yeah, you too, mate. <laughs> what's um, what's saying that they don't get Crash Bandicoot? You know, what's to say they don't get the Crash Bandicoot trilogy? But t- taking your nostalgia hat off here, yeah. I had Tomb Raider Christmas 1996, oh, PlayStation One. You know, when it, it was like every, it was a big game, wasn't it? That Christmas, and my dad obviously bit of a pervert and he thought i'll buy ryan that so i can look at the cover <laughs> anyway so i had that and at the time it was brilliant it was a really really good game but about two three years ago when the playstation mini came out i revisited tomb raider and the first one isn't a particularly good game i will it's... throw that out there it's not aged well at all the camera angles are terrible and controls the jump mechanism is awful trying to if you try and do the obstacle course in her house which you can do obviously you know when you lock the butler in the room which everyone does it's really really tricky so nostalgia is a great thing and tomb raider is a game of its time but tomb raider one in my opinion hasn't aged very well at all there are still some great moments like the t-rex bit you know when mm-hmm. when i was 13 playing that and you go in the car the freaking t-rex is coming at you jumping backwards with your gun shooting that's one of the greatest video game moments of all time however play it now yeah you won't have that same <laughs> in, in my view i don't think you'll have that same feeling it's different because it is an older game it's like going back and playing but any older game and expecting the mechanic to be pitch perfect, you know. Um, I would I would say stuff like Mario though hasn't aged badly. You go back and play Mario one one and three, still I think they yeah. still play brilliant. Still hold up, yeah. They still hold up. Whereas Tomb yeah. Raider, because you can't move the camera angle and stuff, it's it's like if you play Resident Evil, the first one. Mm-hmm. Again, the camera angle, you know, it's like that sort of down weird angle mm-hmm. and it's a bit tricky at times, isn't it? But it's still a good game. It's, I'm not going to yeah. slack it off. It's, it's no, still of course. A good game. It's it's just going to be cool to be able to play the original. You know, that's <laughs> that's the comment. Of the night. That's the comment of the night. That is. I'm going to star that for later. Yeah, it's cool. I think it. I I mean, I, I Tomb Raider two for me is the ultimate in terms of the original Tomb Raider trilogy. Love Tomb Raider two. Tomb Raider is is was very very good i haven't revisited it but i would absolutely get back to get back to basics with those controls and persevere to get back into that mind frame and just experience it again but like i said i think it opens those doors you know it opens the doors to anything you know that someone's put in the chat you know golden axe streets of rage you know we could have a streets of rage collection where we get one two and three you could have um you know, like the Crash Bandicoot trilogy, we could have. There's so many cool games that could opens come up, from this. Opens up a um, massive wormhole, doesn't it? It really does. Right, you know, yeah. and or even, you know, there's already a, a nice little Capcom deal. If you've got the EXP, you know, who's to say there isn't going to be, you know, Resident Evil One, Two, and Three as a trilogy as a Giga Cart? I mean, God, can you imagine? And these are all things. Do you remember back in the day when people would post um, their uh, like most wanted carts and they do all this like fan art um yeah. and it would be things like tomb raider and all this kind of stuff on there and now it's actually starting to happen um so i don't know i i only think it's a positive thing even if tomb raider isn't necessarily for you i think it's i think it's a step in the in the in the right direction um so yeah count me in count me in um, ah, cheers, dude. Thank you. It's lovely to be back. Lovely to be back. Um, 
Right, this next collection I'm going to have to get somebody else to talk about because I wasn't overly aware of uh, of what it was. Never say never. Um, and that is... How do you even pronounce that? Not funny, is it? I thought it was the actress who was in Kill Bill when I first saw it. I thought, is, this must be... A, that's Uma Thurman, though, isn't it? It's Uma possible. Thurman, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Thalamus. Thalamus. Okay, the Thalamus collection. Um, somebody educate me. What yeah, is I need Thalamus? On this. I have got. Thalamus. I have got no no because I, I never had a Commodore sixty four like yourself. So obsolete world who is in the chat has been educating me. So I shall give his views that he has told me, which are very helpful. He said the C sixty four games are very nice. That's a positive. Creatures and the one on. Let's get the picture back up. Where's the picture? <clears throat> Where is it? Creatures and Hunter's Moon is one that he's wanted for a while. So that's mm -hmm. positive. Hawkeye isn't that great, but I actually looked at Hawkeye and it's quite a nice graphical game. It's like a run and gun shooter where you're wearing a pair, your man wearing a pair of pants, a bit like Rambo, but in pants. So that was quite, <laughs> okay. that looks quite cool. Rambo and pants. Yeah, creatures, very good. And what's this? Armor Light, a well regarded C64 shooter mm -hmm. and Heat Seeker as well. But he said Hunter's Moon and Creatures are gems. So, and Hunter's Moon is like a tactical puzzle shooter. So, okay. yeah, I think the fact that Obsolete World, who is a trusted member of the Evercade Hangout and is someone whose views I really respect on things like Commodore 64, the fact he is saying that this looks a brilliant collection, I think that people who enjoy these, that, what are they, computer... Mm -hmm. system games i can't even remember what they're called anymore the blue cartridges we'll just say yeah. that the fact he has given this a big thumbs up to me means that it's going to be a really good collection and certainly it's going to be a step up from in my view the c64 collection three when we had the ashley banjo simulator which obviously triangle, triangle face is favorite wasn't it? yeah triangle face's favorite game oh okay. well we we are being really spoiled tonight we've got crow yeah. continuum from the american podcast wow how are we doing crow I, I was almost certain i saw his name pop up earlier um so yeah how are we doing i hope you're very well um yeah it's it, i mean I'm, I, we've, we've said so many times before i'm not a c64 person um so to to be able to dabble into into c64 stuff without having to you know buy a c64 this is this is perfect for that kind of thing for me um i still don't have a c64 collection uh, any of those cartridges yet i've only got one blue collection i've got the um uh i've got the delphine collection so maybe the 64 inch um or will i be spoiled if i get this as my first c64 collection hmm. interesting there's, though i like well, the cover up though i said there's yeah but there's one oh, thing where's the cover up again ryan there's one thing that's not like which isn't on there there's no Steve giga Perry. logo so oh yeah this is not a giga cart so this should be 17.99 so mm -hmm. yeah um like you guys are saying, I do respect Obsolete Worlds' views, and if he's and if he's happy about something, it must be good. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. So I'm on this all over this because of you, mate. I am getting this. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Some cool cover up. It's interesting, but I mean, that was what all those old C64s and Spectrum and Amiga. That's what all of those um, boxes were, were really good at, and the NES as well. They were really good at sucking you in with this incredible box art. Um, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. I'm intrigued by this one. We definitely be be interested how it plays, how it runs, what the game's really like. I mean, I could just go on YouTube and watch the videos, couldn't I? Really about the original, <laughs> um, yeah, the original games. But we'll see. We will see. Uh, but yeah, dead excited. So from those two uh, collections that were 
So but these are these are the two leaked collections, aren't they? Yeah. Going it's back been to, a, it's to been leaks. A, it's been a it's been a hard day for players today. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so these two collections as a, as a potential collections, um, sounds like it's a it's a it's a step in the, again another step in the right direction. So very very interesting. Um, can't wait to see what comes from the uh, from the official. It's going to be so, yeah. So there we go. Yeah, they're going to raise it specific. In fact, it's just Ryan's copy that's going to be uh, twenty two ninety nine. Yes, Everybody else's is going to remain. Never say never. Never say never. <laughs> uh, Okie dokie. So before we move on to our um, our last topic, if people do have questions um, about things they want us to answer or us to talk about, um, get them in the chat. We'll stick a little cheeky star on it, and we will um get to those at the end so if you've got some random questions um yeah throw it in there and we will uh, give it a star and we will get to that at the end so last topic and this is kind I will, of I, just before you go on i will hold hmm. andrew joseph to this if i pre-order <laughs> this what do I, tell me what i need to do and if i get a personal message in there then i will pre-order it. Be with middle finger mate <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> a personal message and all it's going to say is just going to be a scrap of paper or a post-it and it's just going to say never, never say never, never Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing oh my god if we could make that happen please andrew please if we can make that happen that would just be the best thing ever um i need to know it's yours though i'm sure we could make something happen um okie dokie so last topic Evercade EXPR and the VSR. So this was something that came up on that naughty Amazon supposed link as well. Um, Do you want me to which... share? Yeah, share. It. Yeah, it's, it's in the description, basically. So you yeah. can see from where it's got. Visit exotic locals from around the world and uncover artifacts, dangers, and adventure compatible with all Evercade devices, handheld, Evercade VS, Evercade VSR. Ooh, what's that? Evercade EXP, Evercade EXPR. Ooh, what's that? And Super Pockets consoles. Mm -hmm. Your Evercade console may require a firmware update to the latest version to best enjoy this cartridge. Mm. So, there we go. So, is that the wording? from amazon that they shouldn't have put in it in in the the collection they shouldn't have been talking about as well is this um is this going to be the titles for this new hardware that they put on the roadmap uh to say it was coming out what do we think what do we think let us know in the chat as well course. so yeah so um i don't know if ryan can get the roadmap up but yeah, it's not been a good day for Blaze, has it? So yeah, I think this is the next two reinstallments, might be the R, for the Evercade EXP and the Evercade VS R. I'm hoping that doesn't stand for a redo and they've redone them all. <laughs> but it sounds like we are in for a uh, really good, it, well, it is. I think we've just had the first all of July leaked in one hit here. I think as we we're saying, look, we've got here, we've got you've got a Tomb Raider in the other collection, your new hardware, they've just released it. So um but you would think if it's coming out in July, we would know about it now to get some pre orders in, get some money in, get these get these things going. But then, like you said, is it going to work? Is it is going to work on everything? So these new carts will work on these new consoles, but then are we then going to get future games that will only work on these R types? It looks like that these R type EXPs and VSs. So this just, like you said, with the Giga carts, this just blows open another like whole dimension, really, of what we're going to get. Mm -hmm. Oh, is, is it going to be more powerful? Is it going to be like you know, like the 3DS, the new 3DS? Mm -hmm. I would only play with this the little fun thing that was stupid didn't really work. But is it like going to be like restructured? Is it like is do you know what I mean what does this R stand for? So yeah, it's it's mad. It, it like it it could be yeah, it 
I think this just blows everything open again. It's still, I'm still confused about the new hardware here in, in November, but um, I would be surprised if this was the new hardware that was coming in November. Um, mm-hmm. But I do, I, yeah, I do feel this is new, the, um, the new hardware from July. Um, oh, yeah, it's just so many questions. So many questions. Let us know in the chat what you think. What does the R there, yeah, like Andrew Joseph, what does this R mean? Um, would do you know what I mean what would you be happy with? Like, are you happy that these that there is a new EXP and a new VS coming out? Is this something that you guys want? Let us know in the chat because I've only just had my I've only had my EXP six months, if that. Do you know what I mean? And uh, my VS I've had a while, so I'd understand the VS. Like, I have said that in the past that a VS might be the next thing that they redo, so um, yeah. I'm a bit. Oh, that's me done. I'm. I'm. Uh, it, it opens up massive. It opens up massive. <laughs> Sounds for Ryan. Yeah. So yeah. Never say never. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's an interesting one. I will. I'll throw my five pence. I guess in a minute, Ryan. What do you? What do you make of uh, the the new Evercade R's? Well, it's it's funny that Andrew has said in the chat that it stands for Ryan because obviously Ryan from Blaze is one of the main people who develops these <laughs> devices. So maybe the R stands for Ryan from Blaze. It's clear it's it's been clear for a while that we're going to be getting a new in my opinion, and I think we've discussed it on here, we thought that we were going to be getting a new EXP and a new VS. And someone's made a very good point in the chat this evening that the Technos arcade collection is now legacy so they won't be able to bundle that with the vs anymore because i think the standard edition vs does that just come with technos arcade so if that's now legacy they're not going to be able to produce that anymore to sell with the v it's not with the vs's sorry so they're going to need to do a a new vs with a new tie-in cartridge so yeah that was always going to happen i'm dis i don't think necessarily we need a new exp exp if if it is a new exp i hope it's just a, a reskin not a brand new operating system that's got better features for example wireless controllers bluetooth compatibility maybe some user interface that other vs people who own vs's won't have and likewise with the exp the exp's only has it even been out for two years yet i don't think it it has mm. so it does make me wonder what that new exp could be are they still going to support tarte mode is that a, an experiment that they no longer want to go with anymore are they going to because we, we've not had any tarte games for ages now have we there's, there's not been any for a very very long time is is it the case that they're going to incorporate analog sticks onto a better exp because with playstation games a lot of the newer playstation games or, or into the or later into the lifespan of the playstation they required analog sticks and they some of those games so mm-hmm. maybe that might be something that they add and a lot of these handhelds from china now like the rg the ambonix the rg series a lot of them have analog sticks as standard don't they so Mm -hmm. i don't know i'm just speculating i've I've got really no no idea but i'm sure we'll find out in the next few days Mm -hmm. yeah it's going to be interesting to know um you know a slightly more powerful vs or something you know, I mean, I, I certainly wouldn't wouldn't be picking it up immediately um, because I don't get um, don't get to play my current one as as enough as I would like to. But yeah, I just I'd be interested to know what this R is. It's a great hashtag. What is the R? What's the R stand for? Mm. Um, I really don't know. Like I, you know, we, we were speculating about the VS. You know, we what does the VS mean? You know, we're now on this. What does the R mean? We're now speculating about what this could be. You know, is it a a more powerful version of each console? I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. I think it's probably like you say. I think it's more than likely going to be something to do with like a reskin. 
um, you know, maybe it will come with an analog stick on it or something. I don't know. I guess <laughs> we'll just be, have to wait. Look, could mean like reloaded, something like that. Evercade VS reloaded. Yeah. I don't know. We I never just... even found out what the VS meant. I think <laughs> we, we say VS. Some people say oh, versus. versus. Yeah. I think it's meant to be versus so that you can have like multiplayer on it. So, but yeah. Interesting. We'll just have to see what comes of it i guess i just think where, it'll, it it'll be fru- it, sorry, sorry to interrupt but i, I think okay. it'll be frustrating if there's a new better handheld and a new better home console when they've not really been out that long and they're not that long into their shelf life and if they're expecting people to spend another 180 pound on a new handheld and and another 100 on 150 pound on a new home console then yeah, it's crazy in my well, opinion saying the um the exp is really good it's heavier and it's but the actual feel the build call, like it feels it's great so mm. like you're saying other than us old us old well i say i speak for myself um <laughs> my your bad my bad eyes having a having a bigger screen do you know what I mean there's other than that i don't know what else do you know what I mean? It, it feels great. It's, mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's it's a, it's a great handheld. Um. So yeah, like I'm I'm interested to see what have they done. What does this actually mean? Have they redone? The, as I, I keep saying stuff with oh, don't we? But have <laughs> they redone the whole lot? Do you know what I mean? So mm. it, it. I don't see what else they could do on it other than making it lighter and. Do you know what I mean? Maybe making a bigger screen like mm-hmm. a bigger system i can't really think what else well if if they were to add something like you know like a steam deck's got like a trackpad has not it so you can yeah like a, if they were to start adding stuff like that you're looking at sort of like 300 pound for a handheld mm-hmm. and i don't mm-hmm. think blaze are in that market are they no I'd be, I'd be amazed if they try to compete with something like a steam deck yeah i think we could speculate forever um about what it could end up being so hopefully there'll be an announcement sort of sooner than later and we'll be able to sort of get an idea as to what what it is it's definitely creating um some interesting discussion though um so you know people please do continue to discuss what you think it could be in the um in the comments afterwards and in the chat and over on the evercade hangout it's going to be interesting definitely going to be interesting over the next couple of weeks to see um what happens speculation often ends up in disappointment from mr andrew joseph sometimes sometimes but not always not always sometimes speculation is just just what that is and then people go oh well it is surprised by the other it is it is true because in football for example you always hear transfer rumblings about a player going to sign which is speculation then they always don't end up signing for you so it is true what he's saying to a point yeah i like speculation it makes me happy (laughs) (laughs) uh okie dokie so we've gone over just over that hour mark let's jump to what comments (laughs) we have starred here so we have got uh the first one is from um Regular viewer, genuine nice guy, Mr. Skipkins. Um, it is WASD in London next week. Anyone else going? Yes, myself and Mr. Triangle Face Tim will be there. Um, there's quite a few other streamers and content creators going. I know Middle Age Gamer Guy Mag is going to be there. Um, so there's going to be it's going to be a good time. Um, I still have no idea where we're staying or whether we're going to have to travel up every day. But we'll we'll figure that's that's next week Ollie's problem. Um, but yes, Mr. Skipkins, do come and say hello if you see us. Um, yeah, myself and Tim will be there. We'll be there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, will Blaze be there? A question for Andrew in the chat. And please don't reply, never say never, which I know he's going <laughs> to. But are Blaze planning on being at WASD next week? It'd be cool if they were, because they were there last year. And that was where people got to really see the Duke Nukem collection. So that would be cool if they're if they are there with some of these uh, 
new announcements. That oh, would if, be... if if you are going as well, don't forget what I've told you before. Ollie, known as the Wallet, he likes to buy drinks. So Nick, don't let him forget that when you see him. Jesus wept. Make what sure you're he throwing that out there. <laughs> You're making it. You're making me sound like Dorbs, like a cheap or and, something. Right? And, right, and triangle face, triangle face. Ooh, yeah, he oof. likes. He likes splashing. I heard he squeaked when he walked. <laughs> Shocking behaviour. Honestly, it'd disappear for a few months and come straight back into it, isn't it? Jeez. Um. Okay. So, next question is from J McGee or J Mogi. Uh. After VS and EXP update, how long did everyone spend putting carts in to update the new library feature? Um, I haven't yet. You I don't, don't know need... if anybody else started to do that and then had the new, new update. You don't need to put the carts in if you're just marking the collections that you own them now. But I think some of the carts you have to put in to, to force updates, but I've I've not done that. Mm -hmm. I imagine it takes a little while. Unless you only own one cart, and then it'll take like two seconds. But if you own all of them, then it'll take a little while. Never say never. I don't think so. Okay, no, yeah. Same. Yeah, be cool if, you, if, they, if you guys are there. Let us know if you are. And we'll, yeah, um, great. Myself and Tim will definitely make a point of coming over and, um, and hanging out. Um, next one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's triangle face your sister. Triangle boobs. That yeah, genuinely made me uh, made me chuckle. Okay, uh, a couple more questions from Mister Skipkins. These two kind of could be done at the same time. So, first one: Could we see Grand Theft Auto collection featuring GTA One, GTA London sixty nine, and GTA Two? And then, uh, would that fit on a Giga Cart? So. I mean that would be that would be really cool. <laughs> but well, that would be huge, right? Rockstar gave them up. But, but they're old, see, aren't they? Yeah, like they're you're saying, I can't see them. Games. Like you said, what are they doing with them? Do you know what I mean? They might as well try and make some money out of them. But yeah. You could even add Chinatown Wars as well. That was a DS game, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That was quite PSP cool. as well. I PSP think, as well, I think. That would be cool. That'd be a really fun game. That collection. might be what the R is. <laughs> Yeah, Rockstar. Rockstar. <laughs> yeah, that would be a really fun collection, though. Um, just that original Grand Theft Auto. That would be, that would be, you know, Chef's Kiss type mm. of territory there. So, yeah, I'd be into there's, that. There's a game called Rustler Grand Theft Horse, which is on PC, and I think you get it on PlayStation Four. But I'd, it's not graphically a PlayStation Four game. But that's that's really cool. If Blaze could, I don't know if that would work on a, a VS or an EXP. But if they could get hold of that, that would mm. fill people's itch for a Grand Theft Auto. It's like a medieval Grand Theft Auto game where, when you get on a horse, you can get Bard to sit on the back of the horse, and it's like a radio station, so you can get them to play different songs. It's really cool. <laughs> it's a really it's a game that kind of goes under the radar. People don't really know too much about it, but it's, yeah. it's very good. Uh. I think this next one we should get as a as a hashtag running forward. What does 100%. the R mean? What does yeah. the R mean? It could mean anything. So yeah, let's let's run with that. What does the R mean? We'll get that trending in um in the hangout. <laughs> right, yeah, Slomania. Uh okay, and last question from uh Gene Joke. Oof. What new feature would make you buy one immediately? Is this get around is, the table? Yeah. Is this if we're speculating that the the R would mean a new console? Yeah. If that's what if that's what you mean for me, it would probably have to be dual analog sticks, uh, and a switch size screen. That would make me think. You know what? All right, then I'll I'll drop the notes. It's, I don't think it's going to be that, but that's what it would have to be. I think for me to to upgrade immediately. What about the other guys? Yeah, um, yeah. New screen definitely is one for me. Um, I'm trying to think of like other handhelds that are constantly coming out. 
because you know I mean there's a few Chinese knockoffs that are coming out every month. Um, and what do they do differently? Um, big screen, but have it like the Game Boy shaped, so it goes down the other way, so it's more comfortable to hold. Mm-hmm. And got a screen in the middle. Yeah, I would. I, that would make me want to uh, upgrade to this new Evercade EXPR. If that's what it is. We're just coming back to that speculatively. Speculation. Yeah. Um, Mr. Ryan, what would, uh, if these do turn out to be new consoles, what features would it need? <laughs> it would to have make to be drop? some kind of theme, like 90s WWF themed or something like that. That would, but it, it would never happen, but that would be something that I would immediately. The one I I don't think a because well I've got a, a Steam Deck it's really hard for another sort of handheld to compete against that so it would have to be something really really special with games built in that I couldn't get anywhere else mm-hmm. and it would have to have multiplayer compatibility say if it was an EXP that I could play against you guys via bluetooth or via wi-fi or something like that it, it would need it would need a lot more features than just the standard exp at the moment for me to, mm-hmm. to pull the plug or as i say be themed in some way that pulls on my nostalgia mm-hmm. leaderboards uh yeah lots of people like leaderboards but i pete they, they did a competition years ago on the Evercade Facebook group and they done a high school challenge on something and someone just figured out I, I believe it was on Tanza but someone you, you know like people do they find a glitch in the game and the high school was like 999 billion 999 fat and people will just do that on high school leaderboards they'll just find glitches in the games and it just ruins the fun for everyone mm-hmm. And for people who are crap like me, I would never make it on the leaderboard <laughs> so it would, just be, it would just be the walk of shame <laughs> <laughs> try and get what? bottom on the leaderboard. You can try and go the reverse way, Ron. Try and get the worst. If it's only the top ten, get on there, don't they? So I'd never be on there. Yeah. <laughs> well, gentlemen, we have reached the end of episode thirty. Thirty. This has been going for sixty weeks now. Absolutely That's bananas. Man. Absolutely bananas. Um, it's been uh, a lot of fun coming back. I've really enjoyed myself. Um, I've missed the FK community quite a lot. Um, but my life will now return to normal. So expect to see my ugly mug a little bit more frequently now. Um, gutted that Derek wasn't here. Absolutely gutted because I've missed Derek as well. Um, so hopefully I'll get to catch up with him really, really soon. Um, I'll chuck this out there at the end because, uh, you know, I've got no... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? No, I can't think of what the word would be. Um because I am now in the market of trying to find a couple of Lynx cartridges. If anybody has a couple that they are looking to part ways with, give me a holler. Um, I'd love to add the Lynx collection to my uh, to my library. Um, yeah. Hit us up in the uh, Evercade Hangout. Um, the, what about uh, Ryan's um, poll as well? We re- he's been running. Oh, yes. Yeah, Mego Neuro... Neutro oh. bite in the chat always suggests the poll, so thank you very much for suggesting that. The question tonight was we've had 60 votes on it, which is crazy. 60 people have come and watched this this evening, so thank you everyone so much, really means a lot. It has the new library feature, the number of legacy cards discouraged you from collection collecting, and eight percent said yes, and 92 percent said no, so it's not mm. discouraged anyone from collecting. No. Like you say, it's if anything, it's just going to create that little bit of FOMO for things, which you know, maybe that will stop me from missing out on these legacy carts moving forwards. Um, but yeah, it's great fun. Um, thank you, everyone, as always, for for tuning in live. It's um, it's a real joy that so many of you do tune in live for this show. We really appreciate it. Um, do give that little thumbs up, a little push, because then that lets us know that you've been here and that you've enjoyed the content that we've put out. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button because that does help us out an absolute ton, uh, which cuts, I say, um, the links collection one and two. Those are the ones that I'm in the market for at the moment. Um, 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 what else was I going to say? Oh, yes. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, 
and uh, do head on over to the Evercade Hangout on Facebook. It's where we generally talk a lot of uh, Evercade stuff. We generally will let most opinions in there as well. Very few people get censored in there. However, if you turn out to be an absolute plum, then <laughs> you uh, you will get booted. Um, you, the only uh, <laughs> the only way that we allow everyone to have their say in that is, is that everybody is respectful and 99.9% .9 of the people in that group are very respectful even if they don't agree with you so head on over to the Evercade hangout and uh, get involved in all the communications. Ryan's jumping in there. Yeah, I was just going to say, we, we don't kick people out because someone suggested the, the Evercade Hangout be changed to the Evercade Hangout Moaning Group the other day or something. So <laughs> hey. we don't we don't hey. kick people out. Snuck Not in there at the end. Boom. Wow. How are we We've doing, Ryan? I hope you are well. You've uh, missed it all, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, took your time. Um, yeah. yeah, let's get let's so, get that hashtag running. And also, if you have watched this, let us know your thoughts in the comments below and um in the comments. And we always like answer them, don't we? In between all of us, mm -hmm. we always get yeah. on there. So yeah, try and get um, I'm gonna get that hashtag going. What does the R mean? What does the R mean? Hashtag yeah, hashtag. What does the R mean? Dead exciting. Um, so again, yes, just thank you everyone um for tuning in live. Thank you everyone in the chat for being jolly good people and uh let's do another hour mate we probably could if we really wanted to but anything over that we're already at an hour 15 and people are already probably going to get bored of us so um yeah thank you all ever so much and uh we will look forward to seeing you in two weeks time so thank you kindly and we will see you all in a couple of weeks take care